watching 8 News Now at 6 with Dave Cavassier and Paula Francis. The news for Southern Nevada is now. After surviving the bad economy, a local restaurant is expanding. Rachel's Kitchen opens in a new upgraded location tomorrow. The move is expected to boost sales by perhaps as much as 20%. But as Zahid Arab shows us, the move is bittersweet for nearby businesses. Um, in life, there are decisions. Can I get that with tomato instead of potato? Leanna Marchese says taste buds make it tough. I'm a fat kid at heart. I love to eat. <laughs> but for the owner of Rachel's Kitchen, the decision to move from town center in the 215 to just a mile away at a Hualapayan Desert Inn was easy. Unfortunately or fortunately, we have run out of space. The new location has more space, a climate-controlled patio, and new menu items. The new landlord is helping with an improvement allowance. The bank extended the company's credit. To my benefit, you know, construction's been very slow, so I've been getting, you know, um, gold treatment. Businesses near the old location like Alexis Nail Bar are bracing for impact. It's huge, you know. Um, I think everyone loves Rachel's. While individuals, a team approach was used to stay afloat. Their clientele becomes ours, ours become theirs, so we kind of all work together. For two, three, switch, four. With classes rarely full, Pure Bar has been sweating through this recession. I think Rachel's Kitchen is going to be huge for us. The ballet-based fitness studio is just doors down from Rachel's new location. With similar clientele, owner Lauren Onan sees opportunity. I'd love to see a packed house for sure. And I think that we can get there with them if we partner up with them. Everybody basically just pitched and rolled up our sleeves and just worked extra. Hard work helped it survive. Now this restaurant hopes a new location will help it soar. Zahid Arab, 8 News Now. Right now, employees are in the process of moving everything over to the restaurant's new location. They plan to open for business by 7 a.m. tomorrow.